please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Happy Friday, Lancers. This morning, we'll have Phoenix live with orchestra, as well as Courtney on location. What else will we have? Yeah, we're also going to have Leo live with volleyball and Elsa on the magic window. I'm Layla. I'm Grady. And CHS TV starts now. Now we'll have a story on a passionate surfer here in Carlsbad. Keely and Landon bring us this piece. It was my dream surf to go up the coast for like a month and just surf every single spot up the coast and just sleep right here and surf right there. My name is Jack Shaver and I enjoy surfing a lot. Jack, a local surfer and Tammy regulator, learned his craft from his father. Um, Cause he always did it like when I was a kid, he'd be like at the beach for super long and just out in the water. He finds that grinding it out in bad waves makes him more comfortable for any day of surf. To be able to come in and like look back at the ocean and it's all like choppy and just messy and doesn't look fun at all and be like, yeah, got a couple. <laughs> all right, I feel like being at Miracosta helps me a lot because um, I'm still like, you know, at home, close to the beach. And he feels that this helps to keep him in the water. Jack's biggest motivating factor is his younger brother, Kai Shaver. So I think the fact that he's getting better than me and, and in a quicker amount of time, and the fact that he's way younger than me, keeps me going a lot, you know? In his years of experience, he can say, surfing not only helps him release built up stress, but also helps him not rely on other teammates like team sports. You kind of just rely on yourself when you're out there to like, if, you know, to make or break uh, your session, I feel like. Jack will continue to surf day in, day out, here in Carlsbad for the next two years of his college experience. With photojournalist Keely McElroy, I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for that piece. For sports today, we'll have girls volleyball versus LCC with Froshoft and JV playing at 3.30 and Varsity playing at 5.15. Make sure to come down and support. Ms. Gerdich will be leading a Switzerland trip and welcomes all freshmen, sophomores, and juniors to join. An informational parent meeting will be on October 2nd at 7 p.m. Go to room 3214 for additional details. Now, let's hear about our very own outfits on campus camera. Colton? What's up, guys? Today we're going to be going around campus at brunch and asking you guys what you guys have on and where it's from. What's up, Carlsbad? I'm here with... Rowan Bruda. And break down your fit for me. Um, Carlsbad Pipeline shirt, jeans from Dickies and Sambos. Uh, well, today I wasn't going to wear the hoodie, but I'm not a hoodie guy. But this was given to me, so I'm trying to kind of get into the hoodies. Today I'm wearing some Lululemon, an Abercrombie popover hoodie, and some Adidas. Uh, jean jacket, Old Navy. Black dress, Old Navy. Shoes, Old Navy. I guess I'm an Old Navy kind of girl today. Okay, so this sweater is from TikTok Shop. This skirt is also from TikTok Shop. And these shoes are also from TikTok Shop. I have my hard hat, my safety glasses, my vest for safety, uh, for, for protection, my pouch, ready to work. I got tennis so that, that way I don't sleep from the roof. What's up, Carlsbad? I'm here with. Rafa, Rafa, yeah, 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 yeah. You know the deal, you know the deal. Break down your fit for me. Uh, I got a black pro club. Uh, Gray Nike sweatpants, New Balance slides, the floaty. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty calm, pretty calm. You know. <laughs> the fall CSF applications are now open. You can apply with your June 2024 report card or application to due Friday, October 4th. For more info, contact and see Mitch Gertich in room 3214. Now we have Orchestra live in the studio with freshman reporter Phoenix. Take it away.
Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Phoenix Zach, live here with Orchestra to talk about their upcoming um, <laughs> fundraisers. When and where is it at? There will be a performance today at 7 p.m. and another performance tomorrow at 2 p.m. in the CAC. Be there today and tomorrow or both. I don't really care. <laughs> Make sure to show up, Carlsbad. What is it all about? So this is our first concert of the year, and it is our fundraising concert. So with the money that we fundraise, we'll be planning more concerts, events, and even some fun field trips. Thank you. That sounds amazing. And um, <laughs> what makes it different? <laughs> um, we're going to be playing a bunch of movie soundtrack songs um, with the movie clips playing in the background. Um, some songs are Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and Ugre Sense from Kung Fu Panda. Sounds really fun. Make sure to show up. Any shout outs? Uh, first period string orchestra. Happy birthday, Roxy. Developmental psych period five. Um, first period, Mr. Briska, Rebecca. <laughs> and I'll send it back to the anchors. Morgan's Message Club discusses mental health in student athletes and meets every odd Tuesday in room 6204. Make sure to join them at lunch for some fun activities. Now wanting to travel this summer, Ms. Harris will be ready for any interested students with questions on the trip to Greece in room 3204. Next up, we have Volleyball Live with Leo. Leo? What's going on, Carlsbad? I'm here with Varsity Girls Volleyball. So, Katie, how was your last game? So, yeah, we had a really good game against Mission Vista on Wednesday. We won in five, and it was a really fun game. All right, and when and where is your next game? So, our next game is today at home, freshman and JV at 4.30, and then varsity at 5.45. Sounds awesome. And what does this game mean? Yeah, we just started the league last game, so this is our second league game. All right, what's your score prediction, Keely? My score prediction is that we're going to win in three. I think the first game's going to be pretty tough, but then we're going to take care of business and win it fast. All right, sounds good. Any shout-outs? Happy – oh. <laughs> Mr. Levitt, period one. Right. Happy birthday, Alex Park. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ray Skirskin. <laughs> Happy birthday, Alex Park. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Anchors, back to you. Jewish, Jewish, Jewish Student Union will be meeting October 2nd at lunch in room 2008. Stop by and have some snacks at their first meeting. Feeling productive? The Math Tutoring Lab is open every morning in room 7203 from 730 to 825 with no appointment needed. Now we'll have some information on CHS TV in Alaska as well as hear from them live. Please. So as you may know, we sent four broadcasting students to the remote village of Kotlik, Alaska two weeks ago. And since then, their main goal has been to teach the students of Kotlik broadcasting and storytelling. Their favorite parts of it so far have been hunting, making crafts, and, t and learning about their culture. So with that, I'll have Jade talking about Farewell to Alaska. Hi there, my name's Jade, and to this day, I never thought that I'd be starting off a story by holding a moose's ribs. Yet, here we are. In today's story, we're going to be seeing how CHS TV students are helping college students celebrate their culture and traditions. For the past two weeks, we've been documenting our visit to the remote village of Kotlik. Whether it was building blackfish traps, participating in the Native Youth Olympics, or heading up the Yukon River, we have learned more than we could ever imagine. Kotlik is the perfect example of happiness and simplicity. The kids of Kotlik have really shown me what it's like to experience so much kindness and close friendships in such a small community. My camera only has so many pictures on it, so we don't want to use them all up. So we'll take more tomorrow, okay? I always say when you work in journalism, you have a backstage pass to life. These last two weeks in Kotlik, Alaska are a great example of exactly that. Without a doubt, the highlight of the trip was our adventure in pursuit of a moose. Coming from the village of Carlsbad to the village of Kotlik, I've learned a new definition for the word village. This has been such an amazing experience. We thank all of the college staff and students for their wonderful generosity and hospitality. From the experiences that we've had to the friendships that we've made along the way, this has been a truly memorable expedition that none of us will ever forget. For CHSTV in Colic, Alaska, I'm Jay Bear. Lancer Locker is looking for donations of shelf-stable food and school supplies. Please feel free to drop off any aid in the front office. Do you want your club on air? Promote your club by stopping by this classroom, room 5105, before school or during brunch. Or you can email us through the website on the graphic. Now, Courtney brings us to a camp store with a Halloween event for on location. Courtney? Good morning, Carlsbad. My name is Courtney Clements, and I'm here at the camp store to talk about their spectacular light show event that they're having every night from 6.30 to 8 p.m. This will be ranging September 25th to November 3rd. At this event, they will have live music, fresh food, great views, 
and a great light show. And as you can see, they have some spiders, aliens, and bats to get you in that Halloween spirit. So if you're looking to come out this season, you definitely should. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for informing us of that event. Now back in the studio, we have Elsa on the magic window with October activities. Elsa? Good morning, Carlsbad, and happy Friday. I'm reporting to you on the magic window to talk about some fun things to do this fall. So starting off, we have the Carlsbad Corn Maze. This includes 1.5 miles of trail that you can walk through with your friends, family, significant others, anyone you want. Now this is $10 per person. And if you are looking for something a little bit spookier, the Haunted Corn Maze will be opening October 4th. It's going to be on Fridays and Saturdays from 7 to 10 p.m. Now as the same general idea as the regular corn maze, it's just going to be darker, a lot scarier. It's going to be scary people, scary costumes. So if you are looking for something spooky to do this fall, make sure to show up to that. Now, moving on, the Carlsbad Strawberry Company also owns the Carlsbad Pumpkin Patch. So this is going to be $15 for a person. You can go pick out a pumpkin to take home, take pictures with pumpkins, anything you please. Now, staying on the topic of pumpkins, one of the most popular fall activities is pumpkin carving. So get together with some friends, whatever you want. Carve some pumpkins. I know I will be. Now, the most basic pumpkin shape that people carve is going to be the jack-o'-lantern seen in this picture. There are also many other fun things things you can do, like words, designs, shapes, animals, anything you want. So make sure to get together with some friends this Halloween and carve some pumpkins. Now, moving on to one of my personal favorite fall activities is baking. Now, seen in this picture is actually an apple tart, very delicious. There's also pumpkin pies, apple pies, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin cupcakes, anything pumpkin you can make. Now, pumpkin treats are very delicious, some of my favorite. You can find recipes on Pinterest, Google, TikTok, anything you want. So I would definitely say you need to go and bake some um, Halloween treats this Halloween. So <laughs> moving on, um, Hall one of the mo best parts of Halloween is all the Halloween movies. So there's Hocus Pocus, Beetlejuice, Casper, The Addams Family. Now some people may argue that The Nightmare Before Christmas is a Christmas movie. Personally, I think it is a Halloween movie. So that's personal preference, but make sure to cuddle up this Halloween and watch some movies. And last but not least, um, San Diego holds an annual Ghosts and Gravestones event every single year. Now this is just a history tour taking you back in time, talking about the spooky history of Carlsbad. Now it ranges anywhere from 10 to $100, depending on which tour you choose. So that is all I have for you today, Carlsbad. Make sure to do some fun fall activities, and I'm going to send it back to the desk. Thank you. Now we will look at tomorrow's story on a young guitarist who chases the dream of turning passion into a melody. The hardest part of playing, it is learning. But it's not once you learn, that's it, and then you're smooth. But I guess once you reach a certain point, writing your own music and finding stuff that's unique to you is really difficult. Looks like a great story, and make sure to tune in on Monday to take a look. Yeah, thank you. Before <laughs> thank you. Before we go, I have a very special announcement, as it is our biggest fans, Roxy's birthday today. So everybody, please wish her a happy birthday. Thank you for tuning in, and bye. <laughs>